never down, never Like a flame in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool is almost over like what the heck I just wanted to go ahead and welcome you to this vlog I'm going to be vlogging today a full what I eat in a day on my Optavia 5 in 1 plan I will be sharing with you guys what we are doing for New Year's this year um, which is pretty much nothing <laughs> But well, that's okay. I actually like it that way. I actually yesterday in yesterday's vlog you guys saw picked up some ingredients from Target to make us a fun little cauliflower pizza for our lean and green. Figured that would be like a fun thing we could do on New Year's. I haven't had one in a really long time. We don't like party. <laughs> like I'm not really into like alcohol or anything so I figured that would be like a fun thing we could do. I just got up. I had my first fueling. I had my golden chocolate chip pancake which I have been missing so so much. Thank god it finally came in my box and I waffled it in my dash for just a minute. If you waffle it for just a minute, it's fluffy and delicious and you will love it. Had my coffee. Actually, I'm still drinking my coffee. Um, I am a very slow coffee drinker. I warmed it up. I don't know if you guys can see the steam um, because I just sip on my coffee. I don't know why it takes me so long. And then also made fueling number two, which is my creamy vanilla shake. I have been loving these shakes recently and I just made it in my shaker with eight ounces of water. I put three tablespoons of nut pods in my coffee for one condiment. So we are off to the races. Also, can't believe I'm in this good of a mood because TMI, I got my period today. I feel like crap, but I'm so excited for 2022. Like, I'm in a good mood. I mean, this might change later on. I might get like really tired and achy and gross. I'm still vibing this New Year's Eve feeling and I just made a post on my social media just kind of talking about 2021. Um, I had a couple new clients come on today and just like really really reflecting on like everything that we've accomplished and honestly there's so I, mean, I feel like you look back like as you're going throughout the year you think of everything that you haven't accomplished and like I'm not at my goal weight yet like I'm still making strides I'm still like going towards my health goals and I'm not exactly where I wanted to be. I had a lot of other things going on this year and I'll do another like full update video on that like later on in my channel and I'll show you guys kind of where I'm at with that in 2022 but when you actually like take a step back look back on what you've actually accomplished in the year like <sighs> do it like I I challenge you to look back on like pictures and everything and just like think about how far you've actually come like maybe you're not where you want to be but like damn you know what I mean like just be proud I I'll put the pictures here so you guys can kind of like see what I'm talking about I'll show you kind of when I posted I just said the year that was 2021 Zach and I officially left our last business that we were there for seven years and never thought we would leave but thank god we did after that whole ordeal and all of the drama oh my god thank god we left and I did a full like update video on my channel like at the beginning of this year that kind of talked about that I'm not going to go into full detail but like it was messy I never in a million years thought I would be where I am today and I thought that was gonna be the rest of my life and it's not thank God so we left that we went on our very first couples only trip which I did a full vlog on on my channel you guys can go back and watch it but it was like our very first like trip by ourselves we'd been together for like five years or something so we went up and did that and we like went out to our very first like five-star dining experience like it was just a big deal for us went all in on our virtual health coaching business and established revive tribe like what a big deal that was the day that I officially became a CEO when I was 26 and I like couldn't believe it. It was like, oh my gosh, you guys, my eyes are watering. It was like such 
a big deal for me the fact that we had like transcended our last life and created this new one and my revive tribe is like my whole world like my girls have literally made my life so much brighter and they fill me up every time I get to chat with them and I can't believe that's like our business we also started adventures from A to Z so we left Colorado sold everything in our home and honestly the, one of the biggest biggest reasons for that like I've told you guys on my channel like we wanted to travel and start experiencing life outside of Colorado since we've both basically been there like our whole life but the other big part of it was like we'd been so stuck in our last business for seven years like that was literally all I could remember of like growing up like I got into that business when I was like 17 like that was my whole growing up stage being in Colorado after that it was like everything reminded us of our old life and we had to leave like we had to get out and just see something else because we couldn't deal with like a constant reminder of just like the mess that that was um, so we left and we went on adventures from A to Z and it was so scary but it was like so fun sold everything in our house donated everything and just like went out on this adventure we left Denver we have hit Phoenix Scottsdale Houston now Dallas technically Frisco I know I get a lot of flack for that we're in the Dallas area and I'm loving it so far and I never in a million years thought this was gonna be what I was doing with my life and here we are this all happened in 2021 I seriously can't even believe we're here met friends along the way like the girls and guys that I've met in our revive tribe oh my god like these are people that I would consider like my absolute best friends like I can't imagine my life without them I'm so excited that we cross paths a couple of our friends I posted this picture got to meet us in Arizona where we all went to go see the Grand Canyon together none of us had really been I mean I think I'd been like a really long time ago but I don't really remember it so much fun I'm so glad that we got to do that also hit 10,000 followers on Instagram and almost we are like time stamped here we are this close to 20,000 subscribers on YouTube. If you guys have any friends or anybody who can subscribe, we are like this freaking close. I think like 200 subscribers away. Like it's so exciting. Back when I started my channel, like I seriously cannot even fathom being at 20,000 subscribers right now like how slow of a start it was and how I wasn't even sure if anybody was gonna watch and like how scared I was to start my channel and like just thinking back on how all of that transpired like I'm so glad that I did and I can't believe that I've literally met so many amazing people that have found my channel some way somehow thank you to all of you and here we are today like I just can't even I can't even believe it I'm blown away also achieved a top leadership rank in our business which I said here basically means we've helped over a thousand people change their lives in their health and we want to change a million more I'm just blown away by like what we've done with helping our other girls start coaching and like building their own businesses and all of that fun stuff there's just like so much to be said there and then Zach and I worked extremely hard to dig our way out of the mess our last business left us in to get out of our little white Subi you guys remember at the beginning of adventures from A to Z I was in my white Subaru legacy and into a new truck which was like our dream from the very start we wanted so badly to like leave that chapter behind and get a new vehicle that could actually like carry us on adventures from A to Z so we got the new truck got approved like that was a big deal that was like kind of the mess we were in and I actually can drive the thing you guys like I never took me months to like decide to actually get behind the wheel and I finally did and now I can park it backing in parking it like what a concept I can't believe I actually did that at the end of this I said all this to say that if we can do it anyone can do it I'm telling you guys I still have a moment at least once a day where I have to remember that I currently live in Dallas with the love of my life and I'm in complete control of my future and I need to tell you guys I have this moment generally when I wake up every morning I have this moment where I look around the room and I'm like where am I like I don't even know because it's so different like being in a business and being in that chapter of our life for seven years and not only seven years but the the growth years of me like becoming a woman that like defined me you guys like that was like my whole world and the fact that I now am here I literally have to like pinch myself and remember I am no longer in that I am no longer around that and I am here living the life that like I dreamt of and I I can't believe this all happened in a year you guys that's why looking back on this like I'm just so freaking proud like I can't believe we've come as far as we have yes I've got a lot of other things that I want to accomplish a lot of goals that I want to accomplish in this next year I'll probably have to do like a whole video on like what my goals are for 2022 if you guys want to see that comment down below thinking back on how far we've actually come like I challenge you to look back and actually figure that out for yourself because it is astonishing some of the things that you can accomplish in a year and if this is something that 
like is motivating to you like I hope you put these same goals in place for 2022 because I promise you it is possible so so much can change and so I'm just feeling so motivated can you tell I'm <laughs> and you'd be so surprised to know that like today is the first day of my period but like I'm so high on life like I can't believe it anyway so I said I cannot explain to you how mind-boggling that truly is from where we were just a year ago I wake up grateful and motivated to grow every single day because now that I know this is possible the sky's the limit bring it on 2022 I'm so excited for what's to come you guys I'm excited to continue this journey with you I still have lots of goals that I want to accomplish and things that I want to do on this channel with you guys please be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet I'm literally telling you all of this in my pajamas and no makeup <laughs> But that's where I'm at right now. So we're gonna have a fun New Year's Eve today. We're gonna do probably nothing. <laughs> I don't know. I've got some ideas, but I'm gonna take you guys along for the rest of my day today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm gonna finish my coffee. I'm gonna drink my shake and I will bring the camera along for this riveting New Year's Eve celebration, but more of a celebration of how grateful and thankful we are for this year and how far we've come. I hope you have the same, same vibes going into 2022 and we're gonna do it together. Let's get started. Okay guys, the dishwasher is running, so please ignore that. I am wanting to try, if you guys didn't see my video from a couple days ago, I really wanna try out that brown sugar cinnamon latte iced. I'm not really sure if there's like an iced setting you're supposed to use on the Nespresso or like what, but I really wanna try it iced. Not like I really need more of a buzz right now, but like I really wanna try it. I also had feeling number three, the frosted cinnamon spice crisp bar, super good. Anyway, I'm gonna try that same like latte hack, but iced. So let's see how it is. Okay, I'm gonna use the blonde espresso roast. I'm gonna add some ice, my syrup, and my almond milk. I'm using one tablespoon of my sugar-free brown sugar cinnamon Tarani syrup for half a condiment and then just half a cup of my unsweetened almond milk for the other half condiment. So this whole drink will be one condiment. I'm going to add a little bit more ice. I probably should have used a smaller glass, but I just really didn't know. So we're going to use this for now. try this out. This is our iced almond milk brown sugar cinnamon latte. We tried this hot the other day. I'm wondering if it's even better iced. We'll see. Pretty good. I don't know if I like, I don't know which one I like better. I don't know. I mean, they're both pretty good. <laughs> It's like sweeter if it's hot. It's almost like the sweetness is like concentrated if it's hot. I will ponder. I will keep you posted if I change anything. You say all the right things when I'm hurting. You always pick me up when I am down. It's like you have a spark that leaves me burning. Yeah, you just have your ways to get me high. You make all my dreams come true. Could you? 
pizzas are done, you guys. Do they not look delicious? I'm just gonna let them cool for a quick second, then I'm gonna slice them. I got our pizza cutter, everything's ready to go. Cauliflower pizza has been like a tried and true for a long time. I just have not made one in a while. It's kind of like a special occasion thing. Just because it is made of a lot of cheese, and even though cheese is on plan, it does tend to bloat you. So you wanna have it like sparingly, but it's New Year's Eve. Like, I'm not really gonna be drinking. I'm not really into that kind of thing. So I think this is gonna be really yummy and fun. This is a full lean and green. So this is one lean and three greens. We don't need a healthy fat. It's everything that we need. And I get to have the whole thing. Like I get this question all the time. Do you get to eat the whole pizza? Yes, you get to eat the whole thing. So this is my lean and green for today. And after this, I just have one fueling. We're gonna slice this up and we are watching which Matrix are we watching right now? The third one. The third one called uh, Revolutions? Yeah, I think I'm right. I think it's called Revolutions. <laughs> I love the fourth one. Can't believe I knew that. Yeah, the fourth one's Resurrection. Yeah, fourth one's Resurrection. So we're really trying to get through these Matrix movies so that we can get to the fourth one. Also, for anybody who needs a pro tip, <laughs> I just started watching movies with subtitles and I don't know what took me so long to get on the subtitle train, but like it has literally changed my life. I feel like I understand everything so much better now. So if you ever feel like you're a little slow in movies, turn on the subtitles. I'm just saying, it's gonna really help you out. We're gonna continue our New Year's Eve festivities and watch our Matrix Marathon. I don't think we're gonna be staying up till midnight. That just does not seem like it's in our future. I will take you guys along and this is gonna be delicious. You're gone now, will you call me back? Yeah, I know that, yeah, I know that. You're the traveling kind, it's a no. All the places